Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we are in a courtroom where a sovereign citizen ends up getting completely educated by the judge. And, well, he doesn't appear to have a word to say about it. So there's a possibility he might realize he's in the wrong, but he still gets educated by the judge. And, uh, well, it is epic. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Ms. Hahn, did you have an announcement? Yes, yeah, sorry, Your Honor. I was just trying to see if there was anybody else left that I needed to speak with. But I do have an announcement on Mr. Mason. Okay. Um, he would like to plead no on the first case ending in 4970. He'd like to plead no low to count one. Uh, the state is going to null pros count two. And he'd also like to plead no low on count three. Okay. All right. What about the second case? Yes, Your Honor. Um, on the second case, um, he wants to plead no low on all of the ones that aren't null processing. And I'm trying to pull up my list again. Um, so it's going to be no low to count one. Um, believe the state is going to null process count two. He wants to plead no low to count three. Um, I think they're going to null process count. I'm sorry. He wants to do no low to count four. I think they're null processing count five. No low to count six. Um, I think they're no processing count seven. They're no processing count eight. No processing count nine. Um, no low to count ten, and no low to count eleven. All right, I can. Well, let me go ahead and take Mr. Mason's plea, and that way he can get started. Um, and then we'll put you in a breakout room with Mr. Wilson. Um, is the state ready on Mason, Eric Mason, two cases? Yes, yeah, sure. All right. So Mr. Mason is before the court. Where's Mr. Mason? Come on out, Mr. Mason. All right. So um, Mr. Mason, you're before the court on two cases, case uh, 2022 CR 04970 for speeding. 11 to 15 miles per hour over the limit, no tag light and obstruction of an officer. You're represented by the law firm of Lister, Holt and Dennis. Ms. Chelsea Hahn is with you. Um, she has indicated that you wish to enter a plea of no load to counts one and three. Count two will be no pros. Raise your right hand for me, sir. Do you solemnly swear or affirm any testimony that you give in this matter will be true? Yes. All right. So you're before the court on case 2023, you can put your hand down, 2023CR08452, um, Eric Santana Mason Jr. for counts one, driving on a suspended or revoked license, count two, no license, count three, obstruction of an officer, count four, no insurance, count five, invalid registration, count six, uh, no tag or expired or invalid tag. Count seven, improper display of tag. Count eight, possession um, of a drug-related object. Count nine, marijuana, one ounce or less. Count 10 and 11, open container for both. Um, you're entering a plea to counts of no low to counts one, three, four, six, and 10 and 11. Um, counts two, uh, five, seven, Eight and nine will be no prost per the state, um, per the agreement between the parties. Now, Mr. Mason, uh, by entering these pleas, you give up the right to have a trial by jury or judge. You give up the right to have the state prove your guilt beyond a reasonable doubt. You give up the right to have the presumption of innocence in your favor. You give up the right to confront witnesses subpoena witnesses, present testimony and evidence on your behalf to not incriminate yourself or present any testimony or evidence against yourself. And if you are not a United States citizen, a plea of guilty or no contest could negatively impact your immigration status. Do you understand all of these things? You got to speak up, sir. 
Yeah, yeah. All right. Right, factual basis and recommendation. Uh, yes, Your Honor. For the case ending in 04970 on uh, May 20th of 2022, uh, while on duty at Norman Road and Riverdale Road, where the incident occurred in Clayton County, an officer initiated a traffic stop as he observed a motor vehicle being uh, operated by what was determined to be Mr. Eric Mason at the speed of 59 miles per hour in a 45 mile per hour zone. And additionally, that the car did not have a tag light. The officer initiated the traffic stop, made contact with the uh, driver. Um, as the officer was, um, uh, excuse me, uh, initiating the traffic stop approaching the vehicle, uh, Mr. Mason decided to lock the doors and rolled all the windows up. Um, the officer asked for the defendant's driver's license um, and advised why he had been pulled over. He gave, let me see. the uh, officer could see that the defendant had an ID card in his hands, but he refused to give it to him. Um, then the defendant asked for a supervisor. The officer advised that he was a supervisor. The defendant then asked for a duty captain. He also explained that it's not uh, the proper procedure. Um, then Mr. Mason be began to take out his phone to record the officer. Once to know if the officer's body camera was uh, oper operable, the officer replied that it was. Um, Mr. Mason advised that he's not a sovereign, but he is a nationalist. National. Well, no shit. Um, oh, excuse me. The officer advised Mr. Mason to open the door. He refused to open the door. The officer did get a sergeant out to the uh, location. Um, And then after the uh, several attempts for the officer to uh, obtain Mr. Mason's ID, once the sergeant arrived on the scene, um, then Mr. Mason opened, excuse me, rolled the window down. He had a passport card. Passport, huh? Uh, you do realize that a passport doesn't grant you any uh, right to drive a vehicle, right? So don't go crying to your uh, more soft hard guru about how all this failed because you shouldn't be listening to him any anyway because he's an idiot. Um, but he did have the, the driver's license at any rate. Uh, so the state is recommending one dollar fine for the speeding, uh, dismiss the count two and three hundred dollars for the obstruction. Anything on behalf of your client, Ms. Hahn? No, Your Honor, we just have to accept the recommendation. All right. Count one is a hundred dollar fine. It'll be one hundred and fifty one dollars and fifty cents with the surcharges. And count three is a three hundred dollar fine. It'll be four hundred and forty four dollars with the surcharges. Did you wish to pay those today or did you wish to have additional time? Your Honor, um, on the second case, one of the um, the state is recommending a probated sentence um, to pay the okay. fines. So, so we'll um, counts one, count uh, three will be concurrent with count one, and the case ending uh, the case two zero two two CR zero four nine seven zero. There's the sentence from that case will run concurrent with two zero two three CR zero eight four five two. All right, and on case 08452, factual basis and recommendation, please. Yes, Your Honor. On September the 16th of 2023, while an officer was on patrol of Fayetteville Road and West Mill Street, where the incident did occur in Clayton County, he observed a motor vehicle being operated by the defendant, later determined to be Eric Mason. Uh, the vehicle had a tag cover covering the tag, making it unreadable. The officer initiated tra a traffic stop. Upon the officer's approach of uh, the vehicle, the officer um, smelled an odor of marijuana coming from the vehicle. At that time, uh, Mr. Mason offered his passport card 
as ID. The officer advised Mr. Mason that he needed a driver's license. Mr. Mason said that he did not need to give it to him because he was uh, traveling, not driving. And you see where that pathetic little argument got you? I mean, these soft, tired word games don't exactly work well out on the streets, let alone a court of law. I mean, that's exactly why you got here, because you tried it out on the street, and it didn't work well with the officer, and, well, now, you're paying the price for your stupidity. So, yeah, have fun. Um, Mr. Mason uh, did not supply the officer with a driver's license. Uh, the officer... The officer... Uh, requested an additional unit. Uh, GCIC check was performed, determined that uh, Mr. Mason's license had been suspended in February for a super speeder. Additionally, the GCIC check determined that the vehicle had uh, no insurance and a suspended registration. And uh, let's see. At that time, the officer advised um, the defendant that he needed that his uh, license was suspended and asked to ask him to exit the vehicle. Um, Mr. Mason advised that he was not going to step out of the vehicle. The officer then had to break out the window. Boy, that escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. Um. And Mr. Mason was taken into custody. All right. Um, count one is uh, a five hundred dollar fine. Count two be dismissed. Count three is a three hundred dollar fine. Count four is a two hundred dollar fine. Count five would be dismissed. Count six would be a one hundred dollar fine. Count seven uh, would be no price. Count eight would be no price. Count nine would be no price. Count two would be a $200 fine suspended. And count, I'm sorry, I said two, yeah. 10, um, 10, count 10, 200 suspended. Count 11 uh, would be six months probation, a $200 fine, and no drugs or alcohol, random screening and testing. All right, Ms. Han. So, Ms. Han, uh, let me just get a general question what the, the money looks like before we talk about ability to pay, uh, interest in paying. Um, so the $500 fine is going to be $737.50 with the surcharges. Uh, the $300 fine is going to be $444.50. The $200 fine is going to be $298 with the surcharges. The $100 fine is going to be $151.50 with the surcharges. The um, $200 fine as part of the probation is going to be $298. And I'm not a mathematician by any means, but we're looking at, mm, that's a thousand. Um, that's 500, 700, 800. Uh, we're looking at more than, we're looking at $2,000 with that. And the other case, was about $2,300. Well, dang, dude. I pay less, far less than that in insurance and uh, registration of my vehicle. I mean, uh, you really should consider actually taking steps to improving your... Uh, driving situation as far as actually getting your license registration and insurance because uh, it looks like you're going to be paying out the ass because of your stupidity right here so in a nutshell i suppose it doesn't pay to be a um a soft hard now does it in fact you're going to be winding up paying a hell of a lot more in court costs than you do in insurance Yes, your and honor, fines and fees. And uh, if six months is not going to do it, then uh, we need to discuss something else. Yes, your honor. I discussed, I, I estimated a little bit higher when I um, discussed yes, with sir. Mr. Mason. I, I estimated around $2,500. Um, and so he he's aware that it would be um, a large amount. We would ask that the terminate that the probation terminate upon um, payment of the fines, but he is aware that it was going to be, um, you know, in the mid two thousand dollar range. All right. So the next thing, Mr. Mason. So um, 
I believe in standing on your principles, but I think you have to examine whether those principles are the of the type that you should be standing on. Because everything that you read on the internet or everything that somebody instructs you will work is not true. Um, there is an established uh, judicial system in this country that's been working for years and years and years. And there's changes every once in a while, but certain things don't change. Uh, if you get a citation on the road, uh, you're going to need to show if they pull you over, you're going to need to show a driver's license. You, you have a privilege to drive that the state gives you. And with that comes a driver's license. With that comes the responsibility to register. With that comes the responsibility to have insurance. Because I promise you, all your um, all of this fancy stuff you're talking about will go out the window if somebody hit your car and you needed to have it repaired and they didn't have registration, they didn't have insurance, and they didn't have a dime to give you to repair it. All of this fancy stuff that you talk about goes out of the window if you become a victim of a crime. And so I want you to consider how this tra a simple traffic stop went from a simple traffic stop to you getting your window broken out and getting pulled out of your car and getting $2,500 fine. I promise you, when I was in magistrate court, when I would morning watches, when the guys would come in in the morning after they've been on the road all night and they come in asking for warrants. And the only time I've seen where they loading somebody up with 10, 12, uh, uh, 9, 10, 12 traffic charges is because they are irritated. Either you have made that officer run or you have made them go way further than they need to for a simple traffic stop. I promise you, I'm not saying it's right. But I'm telling you what I see and what I know happens. And so the you don't get this many traffic offenses because they just out to get you. You get this many when you piss them off. And I'm just going to be real with you. Boom. Roasted. I, I promise you, I had an officer come in there. He had like 12 things. I was like, I am not doing defective headlights in the daylight. No, no. I'm not doing that. I mean, he literally was trying to find every code section he could charge. And so sometimes I don't know whether your principles are worth it to you to the tune of twenty five hundred dollars. But I promise you, if it was reversed, if somebody had hit your car, you would want them to have insurance. Because you would want to have the ability to get your car fixed or to get your body fixed if you were hurt. And so I think I want you to think about all of this. I'm not driving. I'm traveling. That don't even make a bit of sense. Uh, I don't even know how you contort that into something that makes sense. But um, what I want you to remember is all of this stuff that you're doing. If you were in the other seat and you needed somebody to have insurance because they hit your car, you don't want them to be a national. You got me? Okay. So I mean, take it for what it is. I'm just saying, you're looking at $2,500 $2, that you didn't have to pay because you, you, this could have been handled differently. All right. So um, I'm going to, I've discussed with your attorney the six months to pay. Um, please understand that I'll roll all of these into the six months. If you're not able to pay it within that six month period of time, an arrest warrant may issue. Um, and it may also um, be a violation of probation if you're not making the payments um, as ordered. Um, so on count one, it's a $500 fine. Count two, $300 fine. Count four, $200 fine. Count six, $100 fine. Count 10, uh, $200 fine suspended. Count 11, six months um, on probation, a fine in the amount of $200 uh, with the fines and fees, no alcohol or illicit drugs during the course of your probation, and you're subject to random screens for alcohol and drugs. Um, count one, um, count three, count four, count six, count 10 will all be um, uh, be concurrent with count 11 and the previous case will be concurrent with the case 2023 CR 08452. Um, I'm going to ask you to meet with Mr. Carmichael who is in um, 
uh, down the hall in courtroom 301. As you enter the courtroom, you look to your left, I mean, to your right, and he'll be in that office. Um, please make sure you do not leave the courthouse until you get your um, set up with probation. Um, and once you've done that, then you'll be free to go. Okay. And your honor, I, I just want to make sure, will the probation terminate if he is able to pay within the six months? Once yeah, I don't, ha I don't have any need to stress this beyond the six months that it it, it is. Um, if he's able to pay within the six months and he complete and he doesn't test positive for alcohol or illicit drugs, then I'm fine with it. Thank you, Your Honor. All right. All right. So, Mr. Mason, just go out the hall. When you go out of the doors, turn to your left and go down the hall to courtroom 301. When you get to courtroom 301, go in the double doors and then you'll see Mr. Carmichael's office on your right. Okay. Okay. So the judge just laid it out all for that more sovereign citizen that this whole thing just doesn't make a bit of sense in the long run. I mean, you can have your beliefs, but when it comes to uh, actually paying your insurance and everything like that, actions have consequences. And if you hit somebody and don't have insurance, well, it's all on you. And uh, you'll end up having to pay in the end, no matter what, as for if you don't have insurance. Well, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.